short life of William Baines gives us a glimpse into the world of British music that might have been. I'm the Classical Nerd, and today we're talking about William Baines. William Baines was born in 1899 and showed early musical promise at the piano, composing in his own self-taught style. Most of his pieces ended up being for piano, but he also wrote chamber pieces and a large symphony in C minor, which did not have a performance until an amateur orchestra recorded it in the 1990s. Baines, like his father, got jobs accompanying silent movies at the piano. He was a man of fragile health, and around the same time he was conscripted to fight in World War I, he went through a major bout of sickness that prevented him from ever seeing action, and his health was even more fragile and more delicate until he eventually died of tuberculosis. He was only 23 years old. Here is a composer with great ideas, with an uncommon gift for musical expression, and whose work bears the unmistakable imprint of genius, wrote L. Dunton Green in the Arts Gazette. Frederick Dawson, one of Bain's contemporaries, remarked to an audience that the fourth of Bain's seven piano preludes was the most astounding piece of music for the piano ever written by an Englishman. These quotes from his contemporaries perhaps slightly overstate Bain's natural musicality. His self-taught style gives him a unique voice, but it's one that may have been improved through actual composition lessons. It's one that rears its head in all marks, such as very consistent bass lines. Nearly every measure of the lone wreck from his two movement suite tides uses a consistent bass octave, generally speaking E flat, and then an arpeggiation up the piano. He liked an element of consistency in his music while he was experimenting with harmonies and everything else. But if he had undergone formal training, it's likely that his teachers would have convinced him to write bass lines that were as interesting and as evocative as the rest of his music. Bain's style was one akin to the English Impressionists. He, along with Cyril Scott, York Bowen, and Arnold Bax, contributed to a revival of specifically British music around the turn of the century taking Britain from the land without music to one with its own style, with a lushness derived from Debussy and Ravel. Bain's music is just now getting its rightful accolades. 